Do you know why clocks reckon time clockwise? Yeah, uh, is it wait? That's just the way they did it, and then all of a sudden we just started calling it clockwise. <laughs> <laughs> okay. The, and there's right. a thing sticking up that actually has an official word. I would just call it a stick, but the official word is gnomon. The gnomon. When illuminated by the sun, cast a shadow on these numbers. And you calibrate this depending on what latitude you're in on Earth's surface. You need a different sundial if you're at a different latitude. And I got my gnomon, and the sun rises in the east. Mm -hmm. Okay? And as the sun rises up, the gnomon cast a shadow on these hours that are carved into the brass plate. Gnomon's shadow moves clockwise. And it makes sense that you would track time in the same direction, direction. the sundial tracked go. time. Exactly. So our clocks are emulated sundials. And mechanical sundials. So this is evidence that civilization that invented sundials did it in the Northern Hemisphere. Right. Because if it was the Southern Hemisphere. All clocks would be running backwards. Clocks would be going <laughs> counterclockwise. Counterclockwise. Correct. So <laughs> this is a literal counterclockwise clock. Look at that. And uh, you can see it. So what time is it now? 